Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. So as I said in yesterday's live stream, August uh, kind of got away from me and I didn't realize that last Friday was the last Friday of the month. So we are doing Black Friday today. I'm really excited for uh, this Black Friday video because I will be uh, opening and unboxing this package from The Filthy Project. So this brand is actually uh, owned by uh, sort of a friend of a friend. So I'm going to read you guys a little bit about this brand from an article uh, that's actually up on them that I will include a link in the description box. On their website, they deliberately don't have anything in the About Me section, so I'm just going to read you guys uh, a little bit from this article. And if you want to know more about this brand, you can check this article out as well. The Filthy Project couldn't care less about celebrity gifting, immaculate sneakers, or keeping any garment, shoe, or collectible in as new condition. Founder Jerry Carnation started buying up domains with plans to start a magazine in 2014 before publishing the first edition in 2017, soon followed by Filthy Branded Clothing. The brand, based in Delray Beach, Florida, woo, South Florida, has its own vision for its future, using the magazine and the clothing line to platform friends and build an organic network, rather than one based on high-profile cosigns. It's like working out but not breaking a sweat. How hard are you really going? If you're not getting dirty and stuff, how hard are you going, Carnation says of his brand. I guess it just is for like the outside street kids. I used to have this thing where it was like we've been outside so long that we're filthy, aka. The Filthy Project it kind of goes back to me as a kid. As a kid, I was just always outside. I was that kid outside getting dirty. And then I would go home, put my shirt inside out, wear it again, come out the next day. Filthy is exactly what it means, the opposite of clean. All the people that's outside getting their hands dirty, that's the filthy people. Also, they print their shirts deliberately inside out for this reason, kind of like going back to the owner, Jerry Carnation's uh, childhood. It originally was a magazine idea because I was running a brand before this and doing a bunch of other things, but it was so hard to get any press or media or just like any spotlight. So I was like, damn, maybe I should create a platform that can spotlight underground artists, creatives, just anyone doing things who's getting overlooked. So I figured I'd start some kind of magazine and then I got around to making clothes with it. The brand in general is just like super street. It's a statement, you know? People looked at us all the time because it's like two different worlds. People come up to me like, you like wearing dirty shoes? And to me, it's not intentional. Like, these are shoes. Shoes are made to be worn. I just feel like the dirt adds texture to everything. And to me, texture is art. So I love that. I love the whole idea behind this brand. Uh, again, as I said, it's owned by a friend of a friend, which is how I heard of it through my friends. So um, the stuff sells out pretty quick. So if this is something that you might be interested in, I don't know, you might want to follow them on Instagram or, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, but just so you know, like this shirt that I'm about to open up is no longer available. So I would just check out their stuff, see if you like their stuff, maybe turn on notifications, see how it goes. So let's get into this receipt. And like this shirt that I ordered, it was actually a pre-order. So I pre-ordered it, and then once it was available, they shipped it out to me. Shipping was fine, quick, easy. As you can see, it says Black Lives Fucking Matter 2020. Yeah, bro, we still fighting this shit with the Black Panther. And the back says Black Owned. Ownership is opportunity. I'm going to definitely remember to turn this part around. Opportunity for generations. And then these are the black-owned brands that were supported by me buying this shirt, which made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Y'all know how I feel about that type of thing. So this is a shirt. I was not letting this shirt get past me. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. Like, I have to have it. Uh, I bought it in a size large because you guys know I like my stuff to be on the larger side um but I just I was super excited about this I love the whole concept of this brand I love this shirt I love what this shirt says I love and then oh I'm sorry and I also left out that it says invest in black at the bottom so if you guys want to look into any of these brands in particular I'm a I'm holding it here so you guys can check them out but I'm really really excited about this shirt I'm really glad that I was able to support this brand 
And as you guys know, like we've been supporting black owned businesses on this channel and we're going to continue to support black owned businesses on this channel, even when it's not cool anymore, when it's not trending anymore, like this is what it's all about, supporting each other. And as uh, Jerry Carnation said, you know, building platforms organically of ways to support each other as black creatives, as black artists, uh, black business, all that. So super excited about this, the Filthy Project. I will include uh, links, um, the article, links to the website, all types of information in the description box. We're already in September, which means Halloween is tomorrow, even though Hall I, Halloween is not about to be canceled for me. I'm going to just leave it at that. Hopefully everybody had a great week this week. Hopefully you had a great first week of September as well as it can be during this time. Hopefully you guys are all uh, safe, healthy, happy, and I will see you guys for Lovecraft Country Season 1 Episode 3 review tomorrow. Peace.